I've had dreams where I was in these greens. Really? With gold clouds all around, yeah. The most recent was when I was in the midst of working on my book. And I was just so completely immersed in the images that I had that it somehow became inescapable within my subconscious. And what was it like? It was wonderful. It was really brilliant. I remember there were issues with my Japanese because I didn't speak the version of the language that existed in the 17th century. The golden clouds part. Beneath them, hundreds of tiny figures populate the surface of the screens. The inhabitants of Kyoto. The imagery is miniaturist and minute. They're the kinds of details that you would expect to see in an illuminated manuscript, for example. They're that scale. A man in a barber's shop admires himself in a mirror. Two women climb up to peek over a screen and watch a picnic among the trees. A man prepares fish with a knife. Behind him, kimonos air in the breeze. What this allows is for the viewer to imagine himself or herself actually in the city and walking around in it. And I think one of the main features of them is this feeling of being there that they elicit. 